The first point of Libra is the point of 180 degrees right ascension and zero degrees declination on the celestial sphere. It is the point where the ecliptic crosses the celestial equator as the sun crosses from northern to southern hemisphere on the northern hemisphere autumnal equinox each year. Let's look at the first part of this definition. It says the point of 180 degrees right ascension and zero degrees declination. So here on the left, we have a modern day celestial sphere. The right ascension is as labeled and declination is this blue line. So we're starting with zero, zero at the point where the green, the blue, and the red lines meet. And we're gonna go right ascension 180 degrees and where we have the ecliptic crossing the celestial equator is where we're going to have our first point of Libra. And there it is. So we're at 180 degrees, right ascension. You want around 180 degrees, right ascension, and zero degrees declination. We didn't go up and we did not go down. We're at zero degrees declination. So that is the point. Same thing on our original diagram of the celestial sphere when these first point of Aries and first point of Libra were originally assigned. We find our first point of Aries, we go 180 degrees along right ascension, and we get to the point of zero declination, and we have our second first point of Libra on our other celestial sphere. Now let's look at the second part of the definition to see if this matches up with our two diagrams. It says the point where the ecliptic crosses the celestial equator. Well, that's what we have. We have the ecliptic in red, and we have the celestial equator in green, and we can see they cross here. And if you look on the other side, the red and the green cross here. So we have two points. One of them is the first point of Aries and the other one is the first point of Libra. How do we know this back one is the first point of Libra? Well, we need to go to the second half of the second definition. It says, as the sun crosses from the northern to southern hemisphere on the northern hemisphere autumnal equinox each earth year. So you're looking for when the sun is going from summer, going into fall, and then you need to stop at this point, which is the Northern Hemisphere Autumnal Equinox. And that's that point. That point there is the first point of Libra. Same thing on this modern day celestial sphere. You find the, e, the ecliptic and you draw in the summer suns. And then you draw in the fall suns. Then you find the one, which is the first day of fall, and that is going to be your first point of Libra. So we know it's this back one, not the front one. The front one is the first point of Aries or the first day of spring. Now, why do we have a modern day celestial sphere on the left and we have a original sphere on the right? And that's because the first point of Libra and the first point of Aries is not always going to be in Libra and Aries. When the, they were originally signed, we had the crossing occur when the sun was in the constellation of Aries. Hence, this was called the first point of Aries for the first day of spring. And, uh, and 180 degrees later, on the other side, it was when they crossed, it was the first day of fall and the sun was in the constellation of Libra. Hence, this was called the first point of Libra. But now, today, I'm going to put it in blue. Today, our first day of fall occurs in the constellation of Virgo, which I put a box around, and our first day of spring occurs in Pisces, which I'll put a block around. So when the constellations were originally assigned was back in BC times. And since BC times, we can see that the first point of Aries has precessed westward. And the same thing for the first day of fall, we have our first point of Libra and it is also precessed westward. And it is now in the constellation of Virgo. So nowadays, 
I'll use the blue again. The blue is indicating the first point of Aries, which is not in Aries. It is now in Pisces. And the first day of Libra, the first day of fall, or the first point of Libra is now going to be in Virgo. So the constellation of Virgo is now where the sun is on the first day of fall, otherwise known as the first point of Libra.